the number to um, to send SMS, not call. Send SMS to A is going to be on the screen. Just send SMS, and of course, on our social media handles using hashtag Galaxy today. Before we come to our studio, um, guest Kelly. Mm. When you hear healthy living, what comes to mind? Uh, when I hear healthy living, uh, what comes to my mind is fear. <laughs> fear because uh, we find ourselves in a dispensation where we hear a lot of don't eat this, don't drink this. And seriously, I don't know where or what we should eat again. Someone said. Because you take salt, they say too much salt is bad. You take sugar, they say too much sugar is still bad. So we don't even know which one to do. You microwave your food, they say, oh, microwave, you do it, you will have cancer. Someone said, you use, since we started you use firewood, it's still a problem. You know so we don't even know which one to do. Someone said, since we started eating the white man's meal and started mm. having the kind of lifestyle, that's why we started having, having strange sicknesses. Sicknesses. And we started dying early. Before, we don't die. African blood, we don't die anyhow. Like we can stay ages. for, you understand, <laughs> but now, you know, a lot of... Well, of course, but uh, on a serious note now, um, I, I think when I hear healthy living, I, I just get to remind myself that of a truth, uh, we need to watch our intake, we need to watch our environment. I mean, it's really very critical. There's this, there's this consciousness, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of difficult sometimes because when you find yourself around, I'm sure we talked to our guests about this, in, especially in Nigeria, we, we do a lot of carbohydrates, uh, rice, noodles, yam. They fall mm. under the same category, uh, the swallow, a ban, all of that, you know. Mm. And it's like we find a, a, a lot of that kind of meal around us. So a lot of times you eat rice in the morning, in the afternoon you take something like in the evening, a bar. You'd have probably had just mm. one, one uh, uh, a class of food or meal or whatever it's called. So yes. I, I think we also uh, need to look at, look at that. But of course, the consciousness, actually, once in a while, I just try to um, remind myself that I, I have to stay healthy. Exactly. I've oh, done okay. exercise in a very long time, actually. Like, seriously, why? I have four times a week is healthy, though. How many times have you done? This week? Yes. Maybe twice. I have two more to do. Okay, well... It doesn't we, have to be rigorous. Just within your space. It could be dance. I do more of dance, though. Okay. Not uh, really, well, for those yeah. of us who cannot dance, <laughs> we only dance in our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like we said on the show, we have a guest in the studio. This mm. person is into natural. So, I mean, natural. She's into organics, and she's been doing this for a number of years. I mean, to the point where if you have to treat malaria, I mean, there are organic way to do it. If you want to bleach your skin, tone your skin, ladies, there's an organic way to it. I mean, she's fully into organic. I mean, even she herself is organic anyway, because every human was made from the dust. <laughs> Please welcome MD founder, SBM Naturals. She is a nutrition, nutritionist on the program. Good morning, and it's good to have you. Thank Shewa. you. Good morning, Uchi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I look of the truth, you. she's an embodiment of nutrition and healthy living. I'm this is just you. the receipts to just show people that... <laughs> You know, it can't be anybody and just talk about healthy living. By the time you look at her, you just know that. I mean, you need to follow her walls. Mm. There was a time you did something on how to shrink fibroids. Yes. Um, in a healthy way. Yes, yes. There's also one on um, to um, natural conception. Yes, you know, you did yes, that too. yes. There's a whole lot. I mean, everything, everything you need to be in life can be done the natural way. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good to have you. I'm sure you're going to um, you're going to help our destiny today. So okay, because we're gonna we just want to spread around. I mean, mm -hmm. when it comes to conception, when it comes to treating ailments, when it comes to um, okay, this is not to when it comes down to men industry. too. You have to say some things that actually, when it comes <laughs> to guys, you, you, have, you have to also I mean, that's tell us saying. some things. I'm very particular about some things about um, the guys as well. You need All to right. know. Okay, but let's talk about healthy. Yeah, let's yeah. have a healthy living. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, healthy living, like you said, is not about um, dieting mm -hmm. only. Healthy living revolves around healthy lifestyle. It mm -hmm. revolves around healthy eating. It revolves around knowing the right nutrition to take to protect your bone, your immune system, mm -hmm. your organs, and your body in general. Mm -hmm. It um, goes around your physical and mental health as well. Mm -hmm. So healthy living is not just restricted to the food because probably when people hear about healthy living, they actually think it's just the food they eat. But no, it encompasses around all of this. What of your sleep? Mm -hmm. Some people don't even sleep right 
and then it really really affects their health because even for if we go to um, fertility issues we normally tell people that even not having enough sleep being stressed can mm. cause infertility for some women wow. so it's not just about eating only it revolves around your mental and physical health as well mm. your exercise your balanced meal mm. and even trying to lose weight you still have to balance your meal mm. it's not just about cutting out carbs because mm. you need some nutrients in your body mm. for your body to function properly mm. so when you remove some part of the food if you say you don't want and that's why you know when some people are trying to lose weight they fall sick because um, they are removing some right nutrients they need for their body mm. and then when we come to even the fertility issue you know some people when they give them meal plan they kind of remove um, they t tell them okay you have to lose weight probably because um, some fertility issues are caused by excess weight mm. and then when by the time they are telling them to lose weight they are removing some carbs from their body and from their nutrition and then they are giving them and um, the protein the fiber and mm. at the end of the day these people don't know that they actually even need some of the carbs to boost fertility for them mm. so you might be I mean yourself if you don't know the right thing to do you don't know the right composition you don't know the right balanced meal to take for healthy living and then you are just trying to say oh uh, I want to go on keto so I'm not taking carbs and then they start falling sick so healthy living is revolving around how you live your life in general which encompass the, the mental and physical health your sleep mm. um, your relaxation and your exercise your general body fitness it revolves around all of this okay we talk fertility now yeah. does that also <laughs> involve men yes you're saying that um some men would need to lose weight for them to be fertile yes um even for men and some women for, but majorly on the women's side mm. okay majorly yes the majorly on well, the women's side don't because <laughs> that. and being overweight be, it, also part of elderly living is watching your weight and making mm. sure you are not having excess weight mm. you should know your body type and then know that oh i am getting overweight and i need to really calm down mm. and because um yes um being overweight affects some women mm. in consistency naturally it's really really mm -hmm. affects because it means um, for most women you know like you said we have the white man's food all around us mm -hmm. processed meal mm -hmm. saturated fats we have lots of junks that we mm -hmm. get to eat which actually um, makes the women blow out of proportion mm -hmm. it's not like the men who don't need it you mm -hmm. have to watch your weight not just for fertility sake you have to save yourself from diabetics from uh, cardiovascular diseases from heart diseases mm -hmm. you have to really save yourself from all of those and that's why you should make sure that your weight is intact and then you are not um, overweight you know um, even being overweight you know is linked to all these um, cholesterol the bad cholesterol of course we have the good and the bad cholesterol when you have the bad cholesterol it really really affects the cardiovascular um, mm. system yes yeah, so you really need we really need to actually make sure that our weight are intact and um, not blown out of proportion but is there anything like uh, I know there's overweight is it like I know there's underweight yes. as well Okay, coming down, I hear, is easier than adding. When it comes to you losing weight, is quite much easier than adding weight, mm -hmm. aren't you? Mm -hmm. Losing weight is not easier. For It's easier to gain weight. Mm -hmm. Because uh, what, what helps people gain weight, like by the time I start feeding on junks now, mm -hmm. I'll blow out of proportion. Of course, there are some people whose metabolism rate are fast that no matter the junks they eat, they kind of burn it off. Mm. But we have, but majorly, higher percentage, we don't get to really burn off all this fat because of um, number one, timing, the time we eat is affected what do we eat in the morning what are you supposed to eat in the morning what mm. is the best meal to take in the afternoon what is the best to take in the evening so um when you don't then some people you know they get to eat quite late all of this you know burdened together with stress can make some people stress doesn't make some people lose weight for some people when mm. they are stressed they even add more weight yes mm. for some people mm. so um losing weight and gaining weight it's easier to gain weight than lose weight because when you're trying to make sure someone lose weight now you have to um, make sure the person eats right you have to make mm. sure the person is doing the right thing and that is why healthy living should be a lifestyle not 
being seen as a punishment. Mm. Like there's this saying that goes that if you don't, it's either you eat your medicine as food or you take your, um, it's either you take your food as medicine or you take your medicine as food. Because um, there is healing in the food we eat. Mm. So it is either you get yourself addicted to the, um, you adapt yourself to healthy eating, mm. healthy living, or you, by the time you start spending money in the hospital, taking pills and all sorts, then you started taking your um, food as medicine. Mm. Uh, you've started taking your medicine yes. as food. Mm. Yes. Okay. So to avoid that, you should learn a way of making sure that your food becomes your medicine. Mm. Like you, are, by the time you are eating healthy, your food naturally becomes your medicine. Mm. By the time you cut out some um, processed meals, mm -hmm. you, you are helping your body. You are mm -hmm. helping your body grow in the, the right nutrients that you need for um, you need for your body to when it comes to different um ailments mm. you are able to um cut off so many of all these ailments when you are eating healthy mm. and yes mm. you know when we mentioned um fiber from the onset mm. we do say it that the moment um even though the major cause of fiber is not known yet they're still researching on it the moment you can cut off some food that um grows the tumor you are able to shrink the tumor and okay, what foods are we talking about? Okay, like when you when you when people are dealing with fibroids, mm. the first thing we do tell them is cut off sugar. Okay. okay. Yes, cut off sugar. A lot of a lot of people are they are prone to taking um, fizzy drinks, Coke, Fanta, mm. all sort of. If you want to take juice, you should take your natural juice. Mm. You can make your you can process your juice yourself. Mm. There are some greens you can process, um, like broccoli, celery, mm. spinach. The, all those things help shrink fiber. And then mm. when you are eating healthy, all those things help shrink fiber and boost fertility. Mm. But people, you know, when we are trying to put people on this therapy, this food therapy because what we use majorly for boosting fertility and shrinking fibroids is mm. food therapy if we are able to change your diet we are able to heal your body because mm. all your body needs is the right food the right nutrients to take in mm. to heal the body naturally okay as, mm. as, we, as we, we we consider food uh we can see some very interesting pictures on the screen mm. i i feel like eating right now <laughs> but <laughs> I, i've heard a lot of stuff about oh your breakfast should be light your 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 lunch should be heavy your dinner should be light mm. i've also heard some other schools of thoughts say oh the breakfast your breakfast should be heavy it's your first meal mm. you're going to start your day it's a long <laughs> day make sure it is you understand so which one where should we go from here okay <laughs> all right i think every it's like there's so many different school of thoughts yeah. but for us we do say this that for your breakfast, it's always right to take um, body healing foods like the fruits. Mm, really for breakfast, body, yes, body because healing fruits, e food, body food. healing foods. But yeah. I, I thought you like, said when you start, okay, maybe citrus. Anyway, that when you start with citrus, you you tend to call up some things in your tummy that can lead to ulcer. Yeah, it depends if it's acidic. Okay. Yes, if it's okay. acidic, like if the or like let's say you're taking when we're talking of fruits now, I'm, I'm talking of like you have your smoothie, mm -hmm. you have different um, combination of food, fruits, vegetables mm -hmm. that can make up a smoothie blend for you, mm -hmm. and the body naturally um, detoxifies itself from your wake up time to about 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. That's the best time to take any of those things for body healing now if you now feel you still need extra food aside the food bowl uh, aside the smoothie bowl because um for people who we treat normally by the time they are done with the smoothie bowl they don't really they don't feel hungry they don't in fact when yes. you tell them take extra meal they cannot yes. take it because the smoothie bowl is so it, they, they are already filled up with the smoothie bowl so getting to take others food um doesn't come in for them until probably in the afternoon mm -hmm. because um smoothie you know when you are taking smoothie instead of juice you know you have all the fruits intact mm -hmm. both the liquid the fiber and everything um in the fruit is in it but when you juice it out you can easily get hungry if you are juicing for breakfast mm -hmm. because it's just liquid and mm -hmm. then even though you will still get the nutrients from it you will definitely pass it out mm -hmm. as um urine and mm -hmm. then you can easily get um hungry okay. but when it is smoothie it's it's more filling mm. because everything the fruit itself mm. is complete in it mm. so when you take that as breakfast it really really helps um build up the body and it depends on your combination also it energizes the body as well i do that every morning my first mm. meal is always a bowl of smoothie mm. yes okay. every morning every and morning. i yes and i've done that for over 
you've done that for over for over three years now okay please. i have what's the combination of this okay thing? for me i take um cucumber i had cucumber to carrot to mm -hmm. celery um to green pepper to garden egg no it makes up <laughs> and then I I add, yeah yes with apple and then mm -hmm. i blend them Mm -hmm. and then i take that bowl as my smoothie bowl like mm -hmm. that's my breakfast for the morning mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. by the time you're getting to noon then yes you can take your healthy meal as well you really don't have to take junks for and then you, of course in between um, breakfast and lunch mm -hmm. you can snack up on healthy snacks you have um, like the almond nuts there are a lot of healthy snacks and um, the granola mm -hmm. there are a lot of healthy snacks you can snack up on mm -hmm. in between okay. yes and then dinner dinner you know yeah. we used to I used to swallow <laughs> for dinner. Uh, you know, there's this thing, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's a Nigerian or African thing, but there's something about dinner. Most times if you just take noodles or rice, there's something about swallowing and mm. dinner. I don't know, I don't know what... Uh, we, we, we don't say, no, do not take swallow. Mm. Okay. But for us, we tell you, take a healthy swallow. Mm. Okay. Um, like the, I'm sorry to say, the semo is processed it's processed swallow mm. okay. It's the combination of probably um some okay so maybe natural extracts that has now been processed and fine-tuned and mm. then you know they've added some sort of chemicals or whatever mm. it is okay. yes that makes mm. up the swallow unlike let's say you want to make um oatmeal swallow because we normally recommend mm. oatmeal swallow a lot like the quicker oats you take yes that okay. same quicker oats you can actually make it into a swallow wow yes and by the time you're taking little of it you had enough you know some it, of us it, like it's, it's really hard. feeling you know it's really really feeling and yes. these are food that boost our general well-being and as well heal her body okay yes mm. so you know when you so when you do the oatmeal swallow it's um healthy you know it's natural as it is it's healthy enough and then you can have your bowl of soup so you still have your healthy meal with you mm. instead of going through the processed um you want to eat pounded yam and then you have to go and buy the one that has been processed mm. you know all those ones really and if you look at it truly back in those days how the rate at which um africans die now is halamin to when it was our parents time because mm -hmm. of all these you know all these foods that we are eating now we've borrowed the white man's culture we want fast food we want mm. processed meal we want everything quick fix and all these things really really affect our health mm. so we should learn in the habit of elderly living we should learn to curtail all of these things it, and i do say it, it is it is something you can people are, are, are normally scared that ah no if i don't eat this food i will not enjoy life no healthy living you are enjoy when you eat healthy also you are enjoying life okay. because you are actually investing in your future you are investing in your health so the money you're supposed to be spending in the hospital in the future you're actually investing it in your health now to avoid all those mm. you know medical issues okay okay all right. I like what you've been telling us, you know, but <laughs> let's take a quick break. When we return, we'll be joining our outstations shortly. So, go to work. We're still on the Elder Leaving. The state of the nation's economy leaves much to be desired. Nigerians grapple with one sort of issue to the other on a daily basis. Sometimes the arguments get heated. Tempers even flare. There is a high level of unemployment and poverty in the land. The military did not come and bomb villages of innocent people. His action is coming very late because we ask the legislature you know, to reduce your salaries. My house will say my house. On Galaxy today, we'll take a no hold bad approach to issues and trends. We'll bring prominent Nigerians from all walks of life to bear their mind on human angle stories. Join us on Galaxy today. Galaxy today, discussing issues as they trend. What would you rather be watching during your lunch hour? Galaxy Television bringing to you a program that brings you closer to social media. But trend the stories. Like, like just read breaking news. There is nothing happening in Kogi beyond the government's house that suggests that a governor...
who is responsible to the people is in charge as well. Issues affect you and family. The bars train from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Friday. It's entertaining, interactive, and buzzing. The bars, the program that keeps you glued to your television. Yes, it's finally here. Galaxy Digital Communication Network, the latest digital outside broadcast company in Nigeria. With its modern state-of-the-art vehicle, equipped with a four-place low-motion instant replay system and a software-based H-Impute Vision mixing system, transmits live events like sports, political campaigns, concerts from Abuja to Lagos, Kaduna, Port Harcourt and all parts of Nigeria. Transmit these live via satellite to the entire world. Equipped with eight digital cameras and highly skilled engineers, Galaxy Digital Communication Network will guarantee your best affordable and best viewed outside live event. For contact, call Bennett on 06 or Afiz on 02 or All right, welcome back. It's the Galaxy today. And of course, we've been looking at how we're living with um, Ulusheye Adeshawa, a nutritionist. Okay, so I'd like us to also look at um, other um, angle. Mm. They say that um, too much of everything is too much. Yeah. So how much of fruits or vegetables can I take that can be too much or detrimental to health? Mm, when it comes to fruits, vegetables, I don't think there's something like too much. Ex mm. un unless, you know, when you know you are fueled, Mm. and then you still keep on taking mm. but like you are saying that uh, if, if there are any side effects to fruits vegetables mm. no there are no okay. side effects to fruits and vegetables like it's just like my normal like my apple unless okay there are some fruits like if you know like you are you have ulcer mm. there are some fruits you shouldn't be taking in excess or you should even cut out mm. and that's when we go to acidic fruits mm. like so, for someone who is prone to ulcer when it comes to ginger when it comes to apple when it comes to um semi-ripe oranges mm. you know it's not really really good for your health so you should actually cut those off and mm. yes when it comes to um some health issues like even fibroids we mm. do tell um a kind that you should avoid uh, you should limit citrus fruits because they okay. burn out um, the end result is still sugar oh i see and what does fiber feed on it's mainly sugar um okay. it feeds on estrogen uh, it's caused by excess estrogen but it's feed when the moment it sides sugar it begins to grow the tumor more and then that's why we do tell our, mm. our clients that see you want to really um burn and um, shrink this fiber you really have to cut out um the sugary parts not like totally but at least to some extent because we still need that sugar in us for energy so yes we should we should have a proportion like balancing it out okay yes we'll come back to you we have um, a guest in abuja in person of dr francis fadu yile president nigeria medical association abuja branch good morning doctor it's good to have you on the show we just want you to give us some snippets and how to live a healthy life regardless of age what and what are we expected to do to have a healthy normal and maybe longevity of life if if i may ask i'm happy to be here and uh, i think it's good for us to see how we can discuss how and what we should do to live a healthy life as it is healthy life healthy living is a conglomeration of what we have done or we are doing either in what we eat how we uh, sit how we stand how we exercise how we uh, perform our daily routine, are you sleeping properly? And all these things 
are things that come together to make healthy living. So it may be very difficult for us to say in one direct way that this is what it entails to have a healthy living. But if I may say uh, that it is important for us to watch what we eat because eating has a lot to do with our ability uh, to have a healthy living. For example, Nigeria is gradually changing its eating habit from eating the natural fruits or natural food into taking a lot of uh, junks. And this has caused a lot of issues about our health. One, we have had increase in hypertension. We have, became, we have become more obese. And obesity has a lot to do with uh, diabetes mellitus, with arthritis, like what uh, the nutritional, uh, nutritionist has said, with about infertility. So, again, how well are we exercising? We are becoming more and more sedentary in our activity, in our life. So, these are all things that we put together to look at healthy living. How well are we sleeping? How do we sleep? And uh, what about the noise level? For example, in Lagos, when there is not electricity, there are a lot of noise from all the appliances we use to generate electricity. So these are things that we culminate into healthy living. Francis, can you also share with us uh, when you get uh, come in contact with some patients, why is uh, it such a big deal for some patients to live healthy? What, what, what reasons do they share with you uh, uh, as uh, the major challenges for not living healthy? Well, uh, the first thing we want to think about is ignorance. If you are not well taught about how to live elderly, it may be difficult for you to live elderly. For example, we have a lot of chief executives that have low back pain. And what usually causes this low back pain is the way they sit down in the office. It's the chair that they sit down in the office. And if you tell them that for you to sit down, you must sit straight, the back must be straight, not angulated, they need education. Some people, the way they sleep, they may, they may sleep on bed that are so soft that will not give them that framework to support the spinal cord. Okay? And many of them, they do complain of low back pain. Some of them complain of insomnia, they could not just sleep. Okay, so we need a lot of health education for people to understand. And I must tell you, we have so many people too who do not understand the value of exercise. In the olden days, people walk a lot. People sweat. You exercise your muscles. Now you have chief executives or middle career officers that are usually almost all through the day sitting in their office doing work. And when they leave the office, they go to somewhere to say they want to enjoy life. They take some drinks, they take highly, um, high, high, high calorie food, and they pack calorie upon calorie. They go back to their house, they go and sleep under AC, they move throughout the day in a car. And all these things, as, as far as we think, may, we may think is affluence. But the truth about it is that such person is not living healthily. So we really need to help people by educating the health education for them to know how to live healthily. Thank you so much, Doctor. It's been a pleasure talking with you. We've been talking to Dr. Francis Fadu Yile, President of Nigeria Medical Association from Abuja. Thank you so much.
Okay, you did hear what he said. I don't know yeah. if you want to react to it or go to it no, I, I really agree with what he has said. Totally. He is mm -hmm. really on point, yes. Okay, he so is. how do we begin to make it a better life? I mean, a lot of people, like he said, that uh, you drive around town, yes. you do things, it looks like you're becoming sick. But how mm. do you, if your job is the type that makes you see it? Yes, okay. okay. What you do? Like, for someone like me, I mm. also fall into the category of someone who we probably sits um most of the time then you drive to work mm -hmm. drive everywhere i'm going to mm -hmm. but you know when it when you're home you can easily do a 30 minute skip you can decide to take evening walk for mm -hmm. one okay. hour yes you can decide to dance in the evening like you said in the morning you can even do it in the morning like um you okay. dance mm -hmm. for the next 30 minutes it doesn't really have to be um so strenuous mm -hmm. exercise like i have to go to the gym no you just have to be productive with your body make sure you have mobility like you you are not just um you are not just stagnant in one place you mm -hmm. sit for the next time some people will sit for the next eight hours on the same chair no movement and they are glued to their system mm -hmm. and then they drive home truly and then the next thing they eat and immediately they are off to bed all those things really really cause ill heads to our to our body so yes if we can um fine tune our, our body into so our ways into uh, into a routine of i wake up in the morning mm -hmm. i probably do a 15 minutes dance mm -hmm. i skip for maybe 100 200 skips mm -hmm. i think that's a, a good start Okay, but you know, I saw, I also had someone said, they said we should take vegetables, they said we should take fruits, but how organic it looks like every one of them, there's some kind of fertilizer that's put in there to make them grow, you know, just yeah, because of market value, yes, are yes. those still healthy for us? Okay, um, it's not healthy, but um, what we get mostly are mm -hmm. natural foods, not mm -hmm. organic food, because mm -hmm. organic, um, that you are eating natural doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's organic. Mm -hmm. Organic actually starts from the soil. Okay. Is the soil chemical free? Mm -hmm. If the soil is not chemical free, free then it is not it cannot be certified organic okay for it to be organic then the soil itself must be as organic as it is like no fertilizer no chemical components on the soil so that's when we can say oh a plant is organic but we are sorry most of the food we eat in nigeria it's actually natural okay and not organic all okay. right let's go to our out session in ibadan where we have dr fumi akiele a nutritionist good morning dr fumi good to have you on galaxy today i'll just read, read out a couple of comments that people have made number one says um what happened to the person that cannot sleep normal what could be the cause of it and then um, no matter what i eat i it looks like i don't get fat at all so this person wants to know that as well as uh, um this one that said that um okay good morning what are the causes of belly fat and the remedy she said i'm slim and single and but i can't tell why my tummy is growing big can you just take answer this people please question very well could you please repeat it that um from viewers at home they like to know i want to read out questions from viewers at home this one says that what are the causes of belly fat and the remedy saying i am slim and single but i can't tell why my belly is growing big why another one said um what happens to a person that cannot sleep normally what can be the cause of it and why and the, the person is also asking why can i not add why can i why can i can i not be fat regardless of what i eat it's difficult to add more weight Okay, thank you. Um, there are different sources of being bloated or being, you know, getting weight in your belly. Uh, there are different kinds of fat. Some of them are good and some of them not so good. Uh, for somebody who tends to gain weight in their tummy, first you have to figure out how you react to different foods. Uh, there are some foods that, you know, uh, if once there's no medical condition, after you've spoken to your doctor and you've made sure that there's no medical issue, uh, you have to also pay attention to your nutrition and, and your physical activity. What are you eating? Carbohydrates, an excess of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats can lead to excess storage of fat. And some people tend to do, gain more weight in their, in their tummies than anywhere else. So one should pay attention to the foods and how you react to it because your body will tell you um, what it is that it likes and what it doesn't like or what it what works for it and what doesn't work for it and 
The other question in terms of I can't seem to gain weight, um, again, if there's a medical issue, it's a question of I, is your physical activity exceeding your caloric intake? And what, what's the quality of the food that you're eating? Are you actually getting an adequate... Okay, uh, uh, Dr. Fumi, if uh, you, you can't hear us uh, because we seem to be having a frozen signal, but if you can't hear me, uh, very quickly, as we consider healthy living, what do you make about our society or of our society and environment? Okay, you know what? I'm sorry we won't be able to take it back. Okay. It looks like um, the network the is acting up. Yes. Okay. You may need to just add one or two things to that. I mean, someone said, is a problem in Africa where we can actually be slim with bloated tummy. What um, can what would you advise such people? Okay, for bloated tummy, you have to check. Like she, I think she was trying to buttress the um, point on healthy calorie and on healthy calories. For most people, they take on healthy calories, mm. and then there's no how you'll be taking on healthy calories. It's going to um, there's something called visceral fat, okay. like yes fat around the organs as well mm -hmm. and then um, you know all these things um, they help they, they are like fat that are build up they build up under the skin as well mm -hmm. so naturally they begin uh, they begin to store themselves where there are spaces mm -hmm. and we know the way our tummy is as well mm -hmm. so of course by the time someone starts increasing in in um, in in weight you want to start increasing mm -hmm. Probably most start noticing from their tummy. They are having a um, bulky tummy, and then the best way to go about it is for her to number one watch what she's eating, mm -hmm. and watch um, the time she's eating as well. Mm -hmm. Then after food, is she productive? Mm -hmm. That's another thing. So many people, like I was trying to buttress the point that the doctor said as well, that people get home, they eat, and immediately they jump into bed to mm -hmm. sleep. Well, we at times we they look at okay traffic before I get home. Mm -hmm. It's already late, so they get home at around 9 p.m. and then they manage to eat 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. At the moment they are done eating in 10 o 10 or 5, they are on the bed already. Now, if you look at it, this the body has not. They've not allowed the body um, have time to burn the fat. There's no, there's no productivity in between the time they are going, they are eating and the time they are going to sleep. All of this thing causes um, excess fat in the body, and of course, it's going to reflect in the tummy. Mm. And there's people, some people are always like, okay, can I burn tummy fat without body fat? Mm. No, these fats are in all places. Mm. By, by the time you are burning tummy fat, even mm. the fat around your breast will get burned. Mm. Some people will be like, I want to keep my hips, so mm. I just want to tummy it's going to burn down fat generally in the body mm -hmm. and yes exercise will definitely help her but most importantly is the food she's eating she has mm -hmm. to be able to check okay am i taking healthy calories or unhealthy calories okay. which actually build up excess fat unhealthy fat in the body Whoa. Right. wow we've been lectured this morning you will agree with me and i must say that when it comes to healthy living when it comes to eating right and weight loss, we really can exhaust it. The Absolutely. time is never in the sight. Absolutely. Okay, unfortunately, we won't be able to continue with Ibada because our second guest is around. We did promise you that we'll be bringing a model. You're going to see this beauty queen in a JV. But before then, a big thanks to Adesha. Thank you very much. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> and of course, thank a big so thanks to Dr. Yeah, Fumi Akiyele from Ibada, a nutritionist, as well as a Dr. Francis Vadu Yele, President Nigerian Medical Association from Abuja. Thank you so much. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll be on with our beauty queen. Go away. The state of the nation's economy leaves much to be desired. Nigerians grapple with one sort of issue to the other on a daily basis. Sometimes the arguments get heated. Tempers even flare. There is a high level of unemployment and poverty in the land. Military do not come and bomb villages of innocent His action is coming very late because we ask the legislature you know, to, to reduce your salaries. Perhaps one of those will say by half. 
on Galaxy today, we'll take a no hold barred approach to issues and trends. We'll bring prominent Nigerians from all walks of life to bear their mind on human angle stories. Join us on Galaxy today. Galaxy today, discussing issues as they trend. Being objective and impartial is our priority as we bring you the latest news on the front burner and then we get you to talk about it too. Please join us as top editors analyze stories that made headlines during the week. Every Saturday between 1 to 2 p.m. on Editors Forum on Galaxy Television. Do join us then. Yes, it's finally here. Galaxy Digital Communication Network, the latest digital outside broadcast company in Nigeria. With its modern state-of-the-art vehicle, equipped with a four-place low-motion instant replay system and a software-based H-Impute Vision Mixing System, transmits live events like sports, political campaigns, concerts from Abuja to Lagos, Kaduna, Port Harcourt and all parts of Nigeria. Transmit these live via satellite to the entire world. Equipped with eight digital cameras and highly skilled engineers, Galaxy Digital Communication Network will guarantee your best affordable and best viewed outside live event. For contact, call Bennett on 06 921 7414 or Afiz on 02. 303-6584 or 0818-666-6662 What would you rather be watching during your lunch hour? Galaxy Television bringing to you a program that brings you closer to social media, trend the stories, agenda like, like just read breaking news. There is nothing happening in Kogi beyond the government house that suggests that a governor who is responsible to the people is in charge of the world. Issues that affect you and family. The bars, train from 2 p.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Friday. It's entertaining, interactive, and buzzing. The bars, the program that keeps you glued to your television. All right, welcome back, Ace to Galaxy today, and like we did. Welcome back. We're sorry for that little hiccup. Okay, we did promise that um, Galaxy Today was going to take a new turn, but we're going to be having different spices to just make it a better package mm -hmm. for you. And right here in the studio, we have the current Miss Nigeria for 2019, the person of Chidema Aaron, as well as the CEO Greenleaf for Miss Nigeria, the person of Dr. Mary Kara. Good morning. It's good to have you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good to have you guys. <laughs> you know, I just go straight to you, Chidema. I mean. You remind me of um, back in the days, the beauty queens we used to have. This is that look, and uh, on the recent days, they having the dark skinned people, and now you're giving me back that look again. It makes me look like, okay, those air, uh, this is what they used to look mm. like. Okay, so I like us to actually address this. There's a stigma about models, there's a stigma about um, pageantry. They just feel there's nothing to it. To some people, it's a waste of time. To some people, oh, we already know the winner. There's no need to get in the form no and you know that. But you see, Miss Nigeria has lasted for how long? About 60, 62 years. 62 years, and it's still on. What impact would you say it has done so far to the society and as well to the models? Let's start with you, please. So, um, I was a former beauty queen myself okay. Okay. 16 years ago. Okay. And I won Miss West Africa, which is what happened in Cape Verde. And that gave me a platform. I mean, I'm Dr. May today because I started 
from uh, being a beauty queen and gave me a platform to work with Echoes and all that. Mm -hmm. And now being part of Miss Nigeria for me is to make sure that um, what I learned as a beauty queen at that time mm -hmm. would actually be translated in the lives of girls today. Mm -hmm. So Miss Nigeria looked at this and thought, how do we make this more impactful? Because what mm -hmm. you said, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. The pageantry is so diluted today. Mm -hmm. We thought, what can we do differently? We can't keep doing what we used to do back in the days. Mm -hmm. So now we've formed a company called the Green Girl Company Limited. Mm -hmm. And this didn't just come out like just, oh, we're going to form a company. It, came, it was born out of a, a pet project that the uh, 40th Miss Nigeria started mm -hmm. with looking into environmental sustainability okay. and increasing the voice of girls. It was called the Green Girl Project. And by the time we kept doing this, we, we, didn't, we didn't believe anymore in pet projects. We then decided that we needed sustainable projects. So mm -hmm. each Miss Nigeria comes on board, she continues with the Green Girl. Mm -hmm. Each Miss Nigeria comes on board, she continues with the Green Girl. Just to, Everybody loved that green girl because it was more impactful. Mm. And so with Chidima's time now, it becomes something bigger. So mm. something that was just a little pet project now owns the pageant. Okay. So the green girl company now produces Miss Nigeria. Okay. And the Miss Nigeria becomes an ambassador mm. of the green girl. Mm -hmm. So she's like the perfect green girl. Mm. And what is the vision of the green girl? Basically, it's to transform the lives of girls and women in mm. Nigeria. Mm. If you notice, if you go on our Instagram page, you'll notice that we we're always involved in political issues. We are involved in any issue that has to do with girls. Mm. We're talking about, you know, when the issue of rape came up, we spoke out mm. about it. Even on international issues, we speak up. So we, we actually look now to get intelligent queens as opposed to just good looking queens. Physical looks. Physical all. looks. So this year in Miss Nigeria, you're going to find something completely different. different. I see. So you're not just going to be a beauty queen, but you're going to be a, a, the good, the best ambassador. But what are the criteria you use in choosing a queen? So, um, we initially was, you know, this beauty and brains okay. um, and all of that. Uh, and so anything that combines a woman to become that beautiful girl, but at the same time have that brains. But this year, it's completely different. Okay, so you said okay. this year, when and where, what are we looking at? 30th of November, okay. the usual like, hotel, which is our usual home okay. for Miss Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so for you, Chidema, I know um, you must have been able to battle us some challenges, particularly for the stigma. I'm saying stigma because it's been on for too long and a lot of people just look once you say mother it's not even a profession to some people it's a hobby you know but i know it's a proper profession where a doctor can stand and say i'm a doctor and a mother can say i'm a mother and you'll, you'll be seen as professionals yeah. have you been able to combat this same um, stigma well luckily for me um Becoming a beauty queen in the time when the paradigm is already shifting. Okay. So now yeah. people are actually more receptive of beauty queens because they see, mm. I say beauty queens because I'm a beauty queen. Okay. Because <laughs> you see nowadays they take on issues that are not normal to mm. take on, like political issues, like she said, mm -hmm. and um, issues that are international, mm -hmm. so I mean, like, not homegrown issues. Mm. Now, seeing this and seeing the way and manner with which they combat these issues, like mm. the way I speak up about things through my hair and everything. Mm -hmm. People now see that, mm -hmm. I mean, these girls have brain, these people are actually, they are actually queens at heart. They mm. are actually in the sense of it. Now, when it comes to modeling, people are beginning to understand mm. that models are important in the trade. They're, mm -hmm. they're important in business. To translate what you want your mm -hmm. market to see, you need a model. Mm -hmm. So it is in, in every sense of the profession. Mm -hmm. So the respect is beginning to come, mm -hmm. you know, which is good, which is the part I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, so I like, um, we in Nigeria, what we do is to support and to lead the light, the mm -hmm. way in which models are being seen, particularly in East Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So this year, it's becoming more, um, more, um, concentrated, I would say. Mm. So now we're not just looking at just, okay, are you beautiful? Which wasn't really just the thing, mm. really. You ha also have to have brain and you have mm. to have heart as well. Mm -hmm. So it's important for someone who is going to become Miss Nigeria to really understand what she's coming to do. Mm. Because that's a big problem as well. People mm. don't know what they're coming for. People don't know what they want to tackle. Mm. Even before they come, they don't understand that it's a it's not just a platform that tries to, you know, put you out there. It's mm. you're here to serve. You're mm -hmm. here to tackle things. You're here to be a big sister, per se. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're yeah, beginning to see that. So that's what we are trying to really push out there with the Green Girl Project. Thank you. Impressed full time. But I'd like to, to quickly say about pet projects. I mean, you said you come. I mean, there must be something in mind, like you said. You mm -hmm. should know what you're coming to do. Mm -hmm. How do they, how, how, how they fit in their, how these ladies or this, the, the emerging queen fit in her own um, probably passion of that project into this green life. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll say um, for me, coming in already, it's a blessing that the company okay. already has Green Girl projects mm -hmm. going on at them, which is now the company. 
itself. So um, for me, I'm talking. Uh, I'm facing sexual harassment and abuse, mm -hmm. you know, as my project. Mm -hmm. But that is an issue pertinent to girls. Mm -hmm. So definitely, the next screen will probably have something pertinent to girls as well. But the thing here, the idea here is that there has to be continuity. Yes. So we started Green Girl with the issue of sustainable environments, you know, mm -hmm. protecting environments, advocating for um, recycling and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then we moved this year to sexual abuse and harassment. Mm -hmm. This is an issue that's facing us seriously mm -hmm. in this country, and yeah. then there's a real culture we're trying to tackle at the mm -hmm. time. So next year, it could be the same issue, or it could be something else, but it will be in line with promoting the Green Girl, with creating that Green Girl. So it's always going to be Centered is always going to have a base, you know. Okay. So yes, so that's always going to. Okay, be. I, I have just a question because of course we're already running out of time. Uh, well, I, I like the fact that uh, you know, your focus is on the girl and all of that. Well, then again, I think that a lot of times we, we tend to neglect the men, and so when you prepare the females, and then the males are not being prepared, and they are the ones statistics will say. Mm -hmm. For instance, the whole sexual abuse or rape and all of that. So, how, how do you intend to capture the males out there as you keep preparing the ladies? So, basically, it's a good question you've asked because we are, we're actually going to be running an event called a summit called the Raising Girls Summit. Okay. And one of the major issues in the Raising Girls Summit is raising boys. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And good. parenting. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, honestly, like, it's such a great year for Miss Nigeria at the mm -hmm. moment because, like I said, our key events this year is going to be Miss Nigeria and the Raising Girls Summit. Okay. In the Raising Girls Summit, we're going to talk about everything that has to do with affecting girls, but we start the conversation mm -hmm. at that, because you, you can't discuss everything in one day. Mm -hmm. And then we have what we call the Green Girl Academy. Mm -hmm. And the Green Girl Academy is where all the pet pressure for Miss Nigeria comes into play oh. through the year. Oh, okay. So when we start the conversation about boys, mm -hmm. and if you go on our Instagram page, you will see we're talking about it. Let's Let's talk about boys. Let's talk mm. about girls. Mm -hmm. You know, are we not going to get boys involved and girls involved? So right mm. now, Chidima has been going to schools and talking to mm. girls and boys about Good. this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so all the, all the people we've met in schools mm -hmm. will then be uh, participants in the conference. We're expecting like 5,000 boys and girls okay. and every key stakeholders so that we can start to get them involved in having that conversation. Because usually when you talk about human empowerment, you don't mm. see girls. Yeah. Now you're going to begin to see little girls as our okay. keynote speaker. I'm really excited about the Raising Girls Summit. And that this is not restricted to Lagos, is oh, it? Oh, not at all, not at all. All we, over Nigeria. Yes, all over Nigeria. But you see, the thing is, like you said, we want to show that we are a different kind of pageant. Yes. And so we, we also are seeking for support, people to support, and people like you, you know, supporting what we are doing, because I'm sure you believe in it. Okay, as well. talking about support, <laughs> we need to do this again, and I hope you grant us yes, time. Yes, yes. As soon as possible, like next week? Yes. 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 Okay, you got your word. You'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is where we'll pull the card. And unfortunately, we won't be able to continue because of time. We've been speaking with Dr. May Kara and, of course, the Chidema. He both do have a way of doing this. I'm not trying to be trapped on this together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow at 10. Make it a day to us. I'm Uche Onye Kuluche. Bye for now. And I'm Kelly Giga. You definitely have to stay healthy. God bless you. <laughs>